discussion items. Uh, the first item, uh, uh, Superintendent, would you like to int introduce the first item? Yes, thank you. Uh, the first item, 6.1, is a public hearing to determine the sufficiency of instructional materials. Uh, is, uh, this is a yearly um, requirement that we complete this and make a report to the board regarding our sufficiency or insufficiency, or insufficiency of instructional materials. Um, and a public hearing is required so that members of the community can comment on this topic. Okay, at this time I'm gonna open the public hearing uh, on the sufficiency of instructional materials. Are there any members of the public who wish to, uh, including teachers or parents or anyone here, wish to come forward and comment on the sufficiency, sufficiency of instructional materials in our district? Please. from uh, from Mrs. Fox that there they only had um, 20 of the um, booklets for the children and that they were trying to get the, the appropriate amount we did. social studies uh, I think. yes I yeah. think so and and maybe the others I'm not sure with the yeah. National Geographic what, what grade level first grade first grade, first grade. yeah yeah uh, we, we did in fact everything just came in the last uh, oh, couple okay. of okay. Oh. Okay, uh, I'm not Joey's sure. Joey's son has tried to take out yeah, the superintendent. Yeah, it's, um, it's a little early for his political move like that. He's <laughs> <laughs> um, taken over. So, um, <laughs> sorry. Um, so, so um, I, I will, uh, I'll just, uh, since there was a, um, a question, I think, um, I want to make this a lot better for next year, and, and you know, we should be ordering extra materials. We, we were not anticipating first grade to jump in enrollment to the extent it did which we're happy about. Um, and then we had some turnover with our director of instruction. So uh, that and moving in all was the perfect storm for us. So, but uh, all the materials were ordered, were rushed. And uh, uh, the last ones I think Ms. Kell delivered today herself. Thank you. Appreciate you letting, letting us know. So um, Ms. Kell, can you um, come up and just confirm or, or not? Uh, whether or not you were able to deliver materials today and address sufficiencies. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. uh, identify yourself. They need to hear you on the microphone. Well, um, I can confirm that um, all the materials that the students need right now were delivered. Uh, some of the materials that they may need at the, in, later in the year are coming. We've ordered everything. Say that again. So some of the materials they may need later in the year? Later, yes. But still? right now, everything that students need, all the textbooks are in. Uh, some of are coming, are already en route. Mm -hmm. the, the, the math books in particular, are many grade levels have five to seven modules that they go through throughout the year. So Ms. Kell focused on making sure everybody had what they need at this moment. Uh, so I think a teacher is missing module five that they would need in February or January. So she's ordering. But it's coming already in about a week at most. I see. So uh, we will have the future materials here much, much sooner than, than we actually Then will they need. will need them, yeah. Okay. So we're okay. All right. Uh, do you have anything else to add? Any other um, no, insufficiencies we'll, that you know about? No, not that I know of. Um, we are working very hard around the clock, ordering everything, rushing everything we can. Um, a lot of it was because of the move also. Um, and next year we'll do much better. Okay, thank you, Ms. Kell. Mm -hmm. uh, any other public comments on um, sufficiency of instruction materials? Okay. I, I would also add thank you to Ms. Kell because she's been working around the clock. Mm -hmm. So we do appreciate it, Ms. Kell. All right, I'm gonna uh, close. Oh, Ms. Smiles, yes, please. You, you have to come up and speak to the mic. Um, Audrey Miles, TK. Uh, while the it's the importance of meeting the legal obligation, which uh, suffices for the Williams Act, is important. Uh, I think it's also important that the teacher materials be made available. Uh, when she did her survey, yes, the student materials were in. However, uh, we're piloting a program 
and I don't have teacher manuals to go with them. So, um, um, yes, obviously I've been teaching for enough years that I can figure it out on my own because I do have the uh, student materials. If we're actually looking for uh, valid information as to whether a program is effective, uh, it would be helpful to have the teacher manuals that go along with the mm -hmm. piloted programs. Uh, I'm not sure that I'm the only one that that affects. Uh, however, uh, it does make it more difficult in lesson planning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So Ms. Kell is saying the teacher manu manuals are coming as well, and can you tell us when you think they'll be here? materials are ordered and they're coming very soon. We also ordered a lot of supplemental materials, not only core materials, but all the core materials are already in place. Uh, so you'll, you'll get your, I believe me, we appreciate how much you need your teaching materials. Ms. Kell, and what, is it safe to say that should be here before the end of the week or by the beginning of next week? Right, okay. the latest. Okay, yeah. great, thank you. Okay, that's helpful, thank you. Any other Public comments on sufficiency of instruction materials. That's Ms. Wren. Good afternoon, Tawahida Wren, and I'm the uh, sixth grade math and science teacher, and I have to say that this is the first year out of 10 uh, that I've received all of my math books for the students, for 32 students, no, 35 students. I have 33 students. And we have all the uh, math books and teacher editions. So I'm very pleased that we have that uh, in place for all the modules for sixth grade math. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Ryan. OK. Good to hear. Any other comments on sufficiency of instruction materials? Yes, ma'am. Hello, I'm Noemi Almaraz. I'm a parent of a third grader. And while this information is helpful, I'm curious what is the process to determine the quality of the materials, um, the wear and tear, and how often the materials are replaced, and what that may look like, um, and if any changes may have happened, or if um, the move to ECCL campus has any impact on the ordering process or the evaluation of the quality of the materials. Mm -hmm. Would you like me to take that one? Sure. I mean, it is a component of sufficiency that they mm -hmm. be up to date and in good condition. Yeah, absolutely. It's a great question. Uh, y yes, the move did affect us in, in every way, unfortunately. Um, however, not in terms of the quality. Uh, teams of teachers met last year on an ongoing basis. I don't know if Ms. Wren or, or you or Ms. Miles were involved. You may have been involved in a very careful selection using rubrics to examine different materials from different publishers. Um, when the Common Core and, uh, curriculum came out a number of years ago, every publisher started stamping their existing books that they were ready. And so many of them are not. Uh, so in terms of quality, uh, regarding part of your question, I think was around process. Mm -hmm. Teachers are involved in that. Uh, the state of California used to require a cycle, I think, of every seven years, I believe, that you had to readopt new books from their list. That's no longer required as long as teachers are involved in the process, I believe, or, the, or parents are or both, I can't recall. So um, in terms of whether you order from their list or not. So in terms of quality, no, we're always doing our best. And right now, we're at an added expense. We are piloting the two top English language arts curriculums that teachers chose themselves to, to check out this year. And it is an added expense, because one of them it probably will not make the cut at the end of the year. Um, and uh, as Ms. Kell alluded to, teachers have also requested uh, uh, additional supplemental materials and reading libraries, and we've gone ahead and ordered those as well, just to make sure teachers have everything they need in place. Um, so um, process-wise, teachers are usually involved in that. In terms of math, uh, when I arrived a couple years ago, teachers were already starting to experiment with the math curriculum uh, that Berkeley Unified and other districts have adopted, which is one of the, the better ones probably for math alignment in terms of Common Core. Uh, and um, we're in our third year of using that material. And it's hard. Uh, as Ms. Wren will testify as a 
new sixth grade excellent teacher, because she's always excellent. Um, uh, it's hard, and I think parents would share, and you might share as a parent, that the math material looks very different. It doesn't look exciting. There aren't colorful pictures sometimes, and it, it's, uh, it's very rigorous and different than what, what we may have experienced in terms of textbook materials. So I hope I answered your question then. Yeah, and, and um, what about the re replacement if there is wear and tear, um, you know, over the course of time, like what is the process? Mm -hmm. uh, teachers should uh, alert, and, and, and she's, Ms. Kell has, has director of instruction, is in constant contact with the teachers, so they should just alert Ms. Kell, and, and we, we are trying to expediently order what teachers need as soon as we know. Thank you. You're welcome. Sure. All right. And I think a good um, portion of these materials are relatively new, isn't it? Uh, yes, the high school teachers just recently uh, decided to uh, adopt and revise some of their course materials, so in, in math, they're using new materials. I believe uh, science, right? In science, they're using new materials as well. And um, at the, I think uh, the state is coming out with new social studies, um, uh, common core, am I wrong about that? It's up to district, so I thought that, I, okay, I thought that they were, so. Uh, and then you have next ge generation science standards that most publishers aren't aligned to uh, at, at all. So, um, but yes, ma many of the materials are new. Okay. Uh, any any oh, other I, public? Uh, and Mr. Mr. Davis may have some new textbooks, I believe, as well. Um, I do. I have all new textbooks. Um, so, but the the one thing that I found and Laurie McDonald found as we went through and looked for it was that the the difficulty was that the publishing companies really have cut back in what they're offering um, for, you know, the, ever since Common Core. So it was challenging trying to get a newer textbook because the selection had really dwindled. Um, so that, that was just, that wasn't any school that did the problem in the district. That was uh, every major publisher that we ran into, so. Okay. Any other public comment? Textbook insufficiency or sufficiency. All right, I'm going to close the public hearing. Thank you, everyone, for coming out and testifying. Public hearing on textbooks and instruction materials sufficiency is now closed. I'm going to move on to. Uh,